professional heavy metal chapa gamer incoming. Give me this meat. I really like the, um, the mini game here. I've been trying this for the past, like, 20 minutes, and I figure, hey, I might as well stream it, because I like it. But I'm also really bad at it. Because eventually my eyes just, like, cross at the low frame rate, and then... Uh, I end up dying because I slide either too early or too late underneath those things. And it just ends up killing me. But I, my high score so far is like 60. I'm going for 101. Because that's like the high score on the in-game leaderboard. I think you get like a trophy or something for that, so I'm going for it. The music is good, though. I wish it would, uh, continue to play. Instead of just kind of fading out into the background. No! Aw. I'm an idiot. That was my bad. Yeah, see, you can tell I've been trying this for a while, huh? Uh, 66 is my highest. So I am definitely going to hit 100 at some point. Good thing this doesn't take in-game money, because I would just be inserting so many coins, I would lose my life savings to this shit. Like, I am shrimped over in my chair, attempting this feat of inhuman gaming. Also, please let me know if my mic is too loud or not, or anything like that. Um, I've been I've been screwing around with it, and I'm trying to get it to a good place. Slide, 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 jump, shoot. It's kind of weird that the Chappas are gathering meat. Because I kind of figured they were like herbivores, like... Oh, well, I, you know, I guess they're like foxes. Oh, that was dumb. Yeah, I guess they're like foxes. So uh, eating meat isn't really, you know, off the table. I I've heard that they're anywhere between like foxes and uh, squirrels, so I don't know which one's actually correct. Foxes eat meat, right? So... I don't think that's necessarily out of the realm of possibility. Even though we're talking about magic-infused vermin. Because Hussein says these are, uh, invasive species. So they're A-OK -okay to hunt. Okay, there's 10. I'm gonna do- now is the time when I usually do something stupid and die. I do really like how they added this in here because, um... It's a nice little homage to the old games. Okay, 20. Twenty-five. I swear though, this is the exact same thing. Almost the exact same thing as like the um that Google dinosaur game when the uh the internet's off. Except you can actually shoot in this one. I don't know, can you shoot in the dinosaur game? No!
I don't know how I got to 66 before. I was like fiending. This song is kind of a banger, though. No, I missed the meat. Are these like battle bots or like Mega Man enemies? I don't know. They kind of look like Mega Man enemies. Especially that flying guy. He got, he's got, like, the construction hat. Because in Mega Man, there are those enemies that have the construction hat that hide under them, and you can't really do anything about that. I was not getting that meat without dying. That's unlucky. Now they just need to make, uh... Heavy Metal Chapa, but... but Doom. Honestly, just outsource that to a fan. I'm sure someone would do it. There are a lot of people on the Discord with programming knowledge. Now, I don't know if they could make, like, a Doom clone, but... Their knowledge certainly surpasses mine. I took, like, two programming... Well, five. I took five programming courses in college, but... They are... I'm, first of all, I'm not good at it. And second of all, two of those were COBOL, which is absolutely useless. So, I mean, if you want me to make, like, a database of, like, heavy metal Chapa leaderboards, I can do that. But, uh, if you want me to make a game, yeah, that's way beyond my capabilities. Why did I say it like that? Capabilities. I don't know. I'm, it's, it's still early for me. So, I'm running on a uh, stream of consciousness that just doesn't stop and makes me sound like an idiot. But it's okay, we'll go with it. I just wanted to play Heavy Metal Chapa, my favorite uh, AAA video game. I'm going to get the high score... And I've just been, like, talking. and Didn't even notice that I'm at 65 now, but now that I point that out, I'm going to die. 66, do I beat my old record? Yes, I do. Nice. Give me the meat, give me the meat. I need... a hundred. hundred and one, actually, I think. If I die at a hundred, I'm gonna, like, shit my pants. Seventy-seven, okay. Eighty. Okay, I can do this, I can do this. I need to focus up, I need to... ...maintain... ...balance in all of my chakras. I need to... Summon the forces of the Elder Gods. I need to stop my eyes from crossing at this low FPS. They always tease me with that one ham you can't get. Like that. See? If I get that, I die. I did it. I did it. I fucking did it. Okay. That only took me like, well, it took me like 10 minutes on stream, half an hour off stream, if we're counting the, uh, the total time. Now I'm just going for the, the bonus points, just to enlarge my wiener. So, I can, like, look at people in the eye and be like, Hey, I got a ton of points in Heavy Metal Chapo, how many did you get? And they'll be like, none, what the hell is that? But I can still brag about it. I want to see if I can get, like, 200. That might be a bit much, but, uh... By a bit much, I mean... 
no one really cares if I go that high or not. Because I'm pretty, I already beat the high score, so I'm pretty sure I already get the trophy or whatever. I hope it looks cool. I haven't seen it. Oh, here's something I should probably talk about. The Magi Market that's coming out on the 29th. So that's uh, Tuesday. I'm looking forward to that. Uh, it's Palia's first real event. And I really hope it's a banger uh, for the sake of the game. Also, there's going to be uh, some kind of announcement from the devs the week of the 28th. So next week at some point. A lot of people are saying the 28th, and as much as I would hope that's true, um, we, we just don't know. Um, but they're going to be outlining all the feedback they've received, and they're going to be uh, talking about how they're going to be implementing that, if, if they are at all and what it looks like for the next two to three sprints of game development. So I'm really hoping that something good comes out of this because um, I, I would very much like more content in this game as much as I... Um, as much as I love the game as it is, I do think it needs more content because I have almost finished everything aside from getting the... Uh, the relationships up to oh shit <clears throat> aside from getting the relationships up to like um yep there we go up to uh level four and like the romance and all that so that's really just grinding honestly but i, I hope they add more stuff to do because i'm Look, I'm level 77, level 10 in everything except cooking, which I'm, I'm working on that. Um, and I, I just really want some more stuff to do, more content. Uh, because the, the weeklies are just kind of like super easy to do. And... The I mean, they give you some metals and stuff, and you can get some furniture and wallpaper and whatnot, but it's just, it doesn't seem like it's worth grinding, you know? Okay, uh, I need to put some stuff in my... Yep, okay. I can give this to Zeki because he loves these, and I got that as a reward, so I don't care. Uh, I think I... I'm not running out of, out of stuff for that. Uh, for food. Because I need the focus. But, um... Yeah. And I think I get the trophy in the mail for Heavy Metal Chapa. Anyway, Majuri Market. It's supposed to be a festival that takes place at night. Um, at night in game, anyway. Um, because if it was just at night in real lifetime, that would be difficult. Hello, Sifu. Sifu's like one of my favorite characters in this game. Anyway. Majiri Market, it's supposed to be like a festival at night, and there are going to be mini games that you play to get prizes. And there are supposedly 50 prizes, but uh, 10 of those, 10 or so, are like recolors of the same prize. Something like that. Like, there, there are recolors included in that figure. But, um,. I'm, I'm still really excited for it because it's it's new content. I love this game, so any new content would be very much welcome in my eyes. What's that? That looks interesting. Bellflower curtains. And supposedly there is a combat life skill 
not much is known about it because it's just kind of everything going well in the files somewhere. Uh, people did some Minecrafting to look at those. And it's it's in the files, but we don't know if it's been scrapped or if it's been or if it's still being worked on. But Sifu does talk a lot about monster hunting. So there is potentially some room for PvE combat. They've said absolutely no PvP, which I think is a good idea. Um because this kind of game, PvP would just kind of ruin the vibe. Some people think PvE would ruin the vibe. But, um... Singularity 6 has said that the PvE will be entirely avoidable and entirely optional. And you will not have to do any of it if you do not want to. Which I think is a very good, um... A very good compromise for the people who are okay with well, I missed that. For the people who are okay with PvP. Sorry, not PvP. PvE. Because that would definitely add something new to the game. And other other like life sim cozy games have combat, Rune Factory, uh Stardew Valley. I think Coral Island came out and that has it. But but yeah, there are a lot of cozy games with some form of combat. That means I don't think it should be off the table, but PvP definitely because it doesn't fit with um this type of game, how it like the goal of the game. Because it wants people to be like a community and to be not toxic at all. And for people to cooperate for resources, uh, which is fine. I mean, I, I wish there was more you could do to cooperate, uh, which hopefully there, hopefully the Majiri market will bring some stuff like that. And hopefully the, the week of the 28th announcement will provide more insight on that. Uh, anything they're doing to make MMO features more, I don't know, prevalent, I suppose. Because as it is right now, like the chat is just kind of empty. In Bahari Bay, it's better where people are calling out resources, calling out creatures to hunt. But no one's really talking to each other. There's only a server chat and no local chat. So if you want to have a conversation with someone right next to you, you're only going, you're going to be talking to the whole server too. Uh, and when the chat, when the chat, uh, like, like expands, when someone talks, it stays for like a few moments and then it's just gone. So. That's, that's definitely a shortcoming. They are aware of that. They have said they're aware of that. So hopefully they will do something about that relatively soon. Uh, some people also mentioned the lighting. I don't see a problem with it. It was a little bright before, but apparently they hot fixed that. Um, as it is right now, maybe, maybe the night is a little bright. I don't see an issue with it, honestly, but apparently some people are having issues with uh, photosensitivity and that kind of thing. So it would definitely be worth it for Singularity 6 to look into maybe like a brightness slider. Like you don't have to make the whole game like, darker, just add a brightness slider for someone on the client end. Oh, I ran out of stamina. That's another thing, climbing. Super jank. Uh, they are aware of that as well. So hopefully they are working on a fix for that. That one I feel like could take some more time. Just because of like... I don't know, that's that's more of a... 
animation and stamina bar issue. And also, there are places where you just simply can't climb up. There are, like, invisible walls. So, for example, if I was climbing here, I can get up. I, yeah, see, I can't get up. I could get up there, but there was a little invisible wall that caught me for, like, a few tries. And that just makes climbing really not worth it. It's better to, like, find other ways up if possible. Because climbing is just so jank. But what I do really love about this game is the exploration. Like, when I first started this game, going through the map and looking at everything there was to offer. Because this game is beautiful. It's got a very nice environment. It's got wonderful uh, NPCs. And what am I climbing on? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's see how far I can go. Oh, what's that? I wonder if I can get up there. Oh. I wonder if I can get up there. No, I don't think I can. Oh, well. Uh, but yeah. I think where this game really shines is the writing. Because I just, I want to learn more about everything there is in this game. I want to learn more about the Majiri, about why the humans disappeared. I want to learn more about the Majiri's religion. I want to learn more about the world with the, the monster hunting and all of this stuff. Right now there's hints and droplets of information in the game. Because it's, it's not at a 1.0 yet, um, which is perfectly fine. It's, it's beta. I'm, I'm just hoping that the, the writing keeps up because the quality of writing really makes this game shine. Because if you're going to have interactions with NPCs and like relationship system and all that kind of stuff, you have to make sure people are invested, and you really are invested in these characters' side quests, in their lives, in their personalities. Oops. And I just, I just really want to know more about everyone. Like, right now I'm going to Tamala, who hope is asleep. Okay, so she'll wake up in like five in-game hours so that's not even worth it for me to be here right now uh so i'm just gonna see if i can find more iron because i need it but anyway like tamala oh flow tree but like tamala she's like this mysterious potion person and And I think in the future, she's going to teach us alchemy or some kind of thing. Especially because in Killama, the first map, there is a... There's like an area on the map marked as Apothecary. And what else would an Apothecary be? It would use, like, alchemy or whatever to make medicine, right? And Tamala has talked about potion, and... Potion making. So I'm hoping that that's part of the game in the future. Because there's more... Um... There's definitely more room for life skills in this game. Like, like, see, right here, there's room for two more. At least two more. I hope they add more than that, but... At least two more. Which I'm speculating. I don't know this for sure, but I'm speculating. 
it's going to be combat like monster hunting i don't know it's probably just gonna be called monster hunting and potion making apothecary alchemy i don't know what they're gonna call it but something along those lines and i really hope that they they like make an announcement about those soon because i'm really curious like this game has so much potential uh especially with its story they've been talking about um going to how there's a serial killer in the bahari city a lot of people have talked about bahari city so that's probably going to be another area because right now we're in bahari bay so the next map over should be Bahari City, right? You'd think. They've talked about the Elderwood, where there's um some kind of Elderwood beast, Elderwood monster, something like that. Um. So that might be the next. What do you call it? The next like epic monster you can hunt. Because right now the only epic monsters are. The Azure Chapa and the what's it called? The uh, the Magic Deer, the Proudhorn Shernuck, and both have a unique gimmick, which I really like. Um, the the Azure Chapa splits into like five clones, and they just disappear when you shoot them with your arrow. And you got to find the real one. But thankfully, it's not really, um... It's not really... Difficult. It takes, like, three shots with copper arrows. And the Proudhorn Shernock, uh... Can teleport. When it runs away, which makes it really hard to hit it. Can I... Yeah, I can just return home. I think my crops are ready. This one's probably just going to be a quick stream, maybe like half an hour or so. Right now I'm trying to, with my farm, I'm trying to clear out this plot so I can replant everything. Uh, so my OCD can can have like all these tomato plants harvestable at the same time. What do I want to grow? Um, I could use some carrots, I think. Put this stuff away. Put this stuff away. Okay, and the rest of it I can just sell. Okay. Uh, okay, yeah. And I'm trying to clear out this so I can put a blueberry bush here, apple tree here, blueberry bush on the other side, so that the apple tree gets the growth boost. Obviously, this isn't, like, super efficient or planned out or anything. Uh, this is just how I'm doing it, because I'm li too lazy to look up those um, ultra-efficient farming guides. I think the separate plots look nice here. It's it's more of an aesthetic than uh something that's really efficient and geared towards money making. Uh, put the seed away, and it can sell a little bit. How much do I get from this? Keep the Night Moth, because Tamala likes those. I'll plop some stuff in my furnace. Alright, and we should be good. I'll just make a little more food and I'll probably call it there.
What does this need? Uh, I could do that, or I could do this. Yeah, this is probably... Uh, that's not good. It doesn't. It gives me only 125 focus. The meaty stir fry is pretty good though. So I'll do that. I need to make more rice, or I need to grow more rice rather. And I I really love the mini games for. Like the cooking. The stirring is kind of boring, but the chopping is nice. The, um... There's one where you have to make noodles out of flour and you get the rolling pin out and that one's nice. Uh, flipping when you cook, like, meat. That one's nice. I'm just not sure why this one goes so slow. Okay, put the ingredients in and stir. Now I eat one of those because it took all my stamina to eat those. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna call it there. Quick stream today just for uh for funsies to play heavy metal chapa and to just talk about some stuff regarding Palia and the future of the game. So I'm going to call it here. Uh, thanks for anyone who watched. See ya.